good evening. <laughs> um, uh, this is a, a meeting of the Fort River School Building Committee, um, and it's September 12th, 2018, and we're in the police station uh, community room, um, and this meeting is being broadcast by Immerse Media. Or taped. Or taped. For yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What was that? Taped for broadcast. For taped they for broadcast. They will broadcast. Um, and so the first item on our agenda is a call to order, which I've done, and uh, then we move on to uh, approving meeting minutes, which I admittedly sent out very late to folks. I hope people have had a chance to look at them. I move Here. to approve the minutes of September 5th, 2018. It didn't occur to me until I saw the pile of name tags, but did we spell Harrington right in the minutes? I think so. Okay. But I am perfectly it's, willing to go back and e. check. Okay, I have my minutes with me, but I put the I have a motion on the floor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, he was going to object to your motion. You're going to object yeah. to the motion? If I, if I had, if if I had to name the motion. minutes? So, yes. yeah. <laughs> so I move to approve the minutes. Well, I second the, the motion. Okay. Um, and then for the discussion is if Harrington is spelled with an A, we should change it to an E. e. Yes. Uh, all in favor of that motion? I need to not vote because I wasn't at the last meeting. Okay. Uh, moving on is the next thing up is uh, public comments. We have some members. Are you a member of the public? We have three no, members. No, I'm just here to listen. Okay. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Um, next item is a recording of our minutes, uh, which we're doing ourselves at the moment. Um, but we, the we here is uh, Maria, uh, Diane, and I have looked at the candidates that were forwarded to us by Mike Morris last week. We have identified a top candidate, and I need to reach out to that person. I do have the contact information now and, and offer them the opportunity to do a sample via uh, this taping, or if they want to come to the next one, depending on the timing of things, uh, uh, and then if they do well, we will move on and have a new meeting minute person. So we'll get that set up for the next meeting or so. Um, the next item is reviewing progress with the consultant team. Uh, the consultant team is not here today, but they were in town yesterday, and we met with um, Tim Sheehan and most of the special ed faculty from Fort River, um, and they, uh, they TSKP seemed very satisfied with the information they got, and so they didn't feel like they needed to come tonight to, con you know, to kind of hear any more from us. They felt like they were at a point where they were ready to say they had enough information program and start some sketching. So for the next meeting, uh, they will have some preliminary ideas for us to look at, which is rather exciting. Eric. Did they, did they feel so in the last meeting? When they were reporting out, they reported out that they considered the amount of space devoted at Fort River to special education programming to be grossly excessive. Did they feel less that way after the meeting yesterday? I remember, did they I, indicate? I don't think they indicated an opinion indicate, on that topic. They didn't indicate opinion, but I strongly, I think we have to communicate with them. I would strongly suggest that before they start doing more sketching, they visit Whitewood because it's the same floor plan. They have five more classes, and so the, the space dedicated to special needs and all the other programs, it has to be reduced because we don't have the space to see how another school with the same floor plan can accommodate all these services. Because there, there is, as we were saying, because there is the space, everybody's expanded. So um, to see how things are done in other places. So I would strongly suggest that we ask them to meet with uh, either Wildwood or also Crocker Farm um, before starting to design so that they have another idea how things are done in town. Right. So at the meeting were uh, Elena, Jonathan and I, in addition to, to Jesse and, and Richard from TSKP mm -hmm. and then the faculty. So, um, it, it was more of, they were asked, They it, it was done with the, um, the floor plan, uh, with the currently who's in what room. It was clarifying who's there, 
yeah. what are your what are you using it for? So I think they were trying to figure out what what is necessary. So yeah. they, they it, it wasn't really about them offering opinions, okay. just to clarify. You know, they they were getting. You felt that you felt like they obviously they felt like they learned what they needed to learn. To yeah, I think they were they were really trying to tease. One of the things they were trying to tease out was the difference between the district wide programs that are housed at Fort River and how those spaces that are dedicated to those programs are used versus the other spaces that are really more about the, the Fort, the tip, not going to say typical, but the, the, standard. the standard kind of Fort River population. To me, yeah. that's per, to me that's perfect though because yeah. that's the distinction mm -hmm. they needed yeah. to get. Right. And right. then they can figure out whether it's the right amount of space or not, but I mean that's... Right. They basically, you know, we just picked off and went room by room and um, subject by subject and said, you know, what are you... What's happening yeah. currently to, to and mm -hmm. to understand what uh. and I, I so I, I don't mind offering them the the opportunity to, to visit the other schools yeah. but I think they were able to make that distinction um, and I think they're going because they're going to have to really because we've we've been you know we have to accommodate those district wide um, programs at least initially in, in what we're looking at um, they're they're going to have to have you know separate line items for the the sort of in. Yeah. But, but if but you look at uh, one room, for example, one room also, instead of three rooms for the special programs, they have two rooms for the special program. Uh, no, actually, they have four rooms in for River, if you count the OP, OP, OP room, and one room has three rooms. So actually, the amount of space dedicated for the special programs is not that different. I think they were also trying to get an idea about the populations involved, because I think they're going to size do a lot of the yeah. sizing based upon the, the, the population, not necessarily, oh, at, at Four River, we happen to have that extra space that was given over to thus yeah. and so. And so I, I, I certainly, I'll give them the opportunity to, um, but it, it, I think they'll, I think they'll make a presentation. What they're gonna present to us isn't gonna be in final anyway. It's really for a first kind of reaction. It's gonna come with that revised program. Um, I think I'd also like to encourage them to get it to us ahead of the meeting so that we can all mm -hmm. think about these sort of questions before yeah. we're looking at it for the first time. Oh, sorry. Right. So, I mean, they they expressed that, that they need to get more information. They also were looking for Crocker Farm because there is there is a big difference in library space. Right. We, you know, we talked about that last time. Um, and so they're going to need floor plans for that as well. So th I think they are still gathering information. In, and. Um, um, and uh, so I, yeah, I agree that we're yeah. not we're we're not done so giving them. The data. typical question yesterday was they were asking for the pie in the sky. What would be the best, the ideal thing that each teacher wanted? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we get these materials electronically? We they haven't sent them to us in their most recent form yet. It's on my list of things to ask them for, because so I'd really like to... We have the take... previous version. Well, do, do we? Because I, when I was I looking to do the have... minutes the other day, or yesterday, I couldn't find the materials electronically. I thought I that... had uploaded, because they sent us okay. several things two weeks ago, and I thought that most of those things we had already uploaded. Okay. But we can check. I don't think we have those latest. Yeah, I, okay, I, I could be wrong, but I, I also okay. don't think we have. Yeah, I, 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 the one that that this one because it, it had yeah, been revised, week's not. right? So we don't we don't have that from last week. So we'll we'll need that. And he was making copious notes on it um, yesterday. He's so. partially asking for Christine's benefits. If you weren't yeah, here last week, yeah, I can see that I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and this I is like that from here. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's like a couple of drafts ago. So yeah. I know, yeah. but I gave them. Yeah, last week was also I brought some copies from the Wildwood. Mm. Great. But it's not as nice as that. Mm. Sorry, I'm just making it up for my tired brain. Okay. Were there other things uh, that we went over yesterday that we want to share with the bigger group that I'm. I'm not remember. We um, did talk a little bit about the library. Yes. yes. Um, and what um, the librarian would hope to house in there, um, and the adjacent, the ideal adjacency with the uh, um, computer classroom. Um, <laughs> definitely was again pushed back at the idea of shrinking the library. Um, you know, and I don't know if you guys come to the surprise to any of us here. But. I, 
I think in the end what they decided that there's going to be a second meeting with the librarian. Yes. That has not been scheduled yet. In the past, what, uh, Jesse has um, written written up notes, so I would expect, yeah, I expect that he would send that out as, uh, to us as well. So. Um, one other thing that I think we could talk about tonight and is. <laughs> Uh, is just to review the schedule and the, and the timing of public outreach sorts of uh, meetings. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I'm trying to think of other things we might want to talk about that we learned yesterday, but I'm not remembering anything else. I'm not seeing anything else in my meeting minutes. But. I have a procedural question about when they meet with, um, you know, members of the school. Well, I don't know, school, schools, and then produce meeting minutes. Who verifies the accuracy of those meeting minutes? I mean, they're distributed, and usually there's the disclaimer, you know, please you notify them, right? within two weeks if there's anything. Mm -hmm. is, is that happening? I yes. think so. Yeah, they, yeah. they have sent it. Um, I'm not, I, when they've sent it to us, I can't remember if they sent it to the full committee every time or if they sent it to the people that attended. Were, the, right. the sub, the, the, School building committee members that mm -hmm. were there, but yeah, we, we uh, I've seen them, but honestly, I, I, I didn't look at the header to see if everybody got them, and I've given feedback. So yeah. I've, I've looked at them each time, and yeah. they've, really, they've been pretty good concerning the wide ranging topics that get sure. gone over. Okay. So one thing that happened as yesterday is that they brought blueprints from examples of rooms of. Um, uh, special needs and uh, reading yep. that they have done for other schools um, to show to the teachers what it looked like, what they had done for mm -hmm. other places, and the square footage. Mm -hmm. I think that was the important thing, but they were about 350 square feet? Yeah, about half yeah. the size. Uh, half the size of what currently. Mm -hmm. Because right now some of those things are kind of take place in the leftover space in the quads and it's not necessarily the most efficient sure. use of space. And they're also aware of the, um, uh, we kind of, I guess we were under the impression that it was building blocks that might split into, possibly go to a different, and you'll know more about this than I will, but it might not be building blocks, it might be um, aims, I guess they're still, that's up in the air. Yeah. Is that correct? Do yeah, I have that right? Okay. Because the requirements for those rooms is different. Um, aims and building blocks, I think the, the one was the issue that was brought up was that the requirements for those rooms, for those programs are different. Mm -hmm. So one has a separate, needs a separate room that can be locked, and mm -hmm. one cannot. So right. that's but important for their programming to know whether it's gonna be two rooms, one room, or not. Right, because currently building blocks is split up into two rooms. Into two, two rooms. Two rooms. Mm -hmm. And not necessarily it's split up in an idealized way. Right. Because it fluctuates and they relax the flexibility. It's a much bigger program. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Other things that. The other thing is that, that um, we did ask them yesterday if they had the existing building evaluation from their consultants. Yes. And they don't. So that was the other reason that they're not here today, is that they don't have that to report. To report. We want to talk a little bit about how to organize, schedule, and just approach those public meetings. And I'll reach back here and see if I can't find a copy of my schedule. But
Which one? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I think the, the striping is that one. Mm -hmm. Purple one. The blue, the blue stripes. Good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, at, this is at the last meeting, which I don't know if they sent it electronically, so we have to make sure that that, that happens, happens yeah. too. Um, uh, they gave us an updated version of this to, to accommodate that, that second form, but they also gave us a um, kind of an every couple week um, agenda goals, responsible party who's initiating, so those were And I think at the last meeting, we added in an additional event to schedule. And what I don't have marked on my copy is, is when we had inserted that. So I'm hoping someone can refresh my that memory so I can mark it better. You mean in addition to the um, there were two December one and the... Is a third one you mean? I thought we had inserted a third one. Or at least I had no, a note that said included an additional public outreach meeting, so maybe my, my notes are wrong. So we had in one in early, late November, the community yep. engagement. So that was the first one after we have some, but I mean, like, no, I'm sorry. My, so my, my dear notes have meant that they added an additional community engagement to this schedule, not okay, that they that should add it, because I remember that discussion happening at the previous meeting. Okay. And I think that's part of what they did with this updated schedule okay. was have added that okay. community okay. engagement session. Mm -hmm. Because I think the, the idea was they, they didn't want to present until there wasn't something solid to present. I've seen it before. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We really yeah. just do have the two, yeah. and that this is the second one that would be. Yeah. So yeah. I was just looking back at the notes, and it says added a community engagement session. Right? Okay. Just like past tense, they did that. So right now it falls around Thanksgiving, so we're gonna have to plan carefully whether we do it before the week of Thanksgiving or after the week of Thanksgiving. Actually, I think they have it scheduled for after November 29. Yeah, that's, that's, okay. That's after. Yeah. Yep. So we should do that week. Yeah, that's a good, like, the first week in December. It's really the only time you can do one. Yeah. You don't do it yeah. then, you're dead till, after till January. Yeah. Until January. Yeah. I might suggest that we kind of lock down a date sooner rather than later because yeah. there are a three other big, you know, yeah. there's going to be a lot of community engagement around school issues. Um, so I have a question, and maybe it's horrible. I, I know that some people yes. travel during the Thanksgiving. Uh, the schools are out on Wednesday. Yes. Would it be makes try to have one on the Wednesday of Thanksgiving? Um, of Thanksgiving? Uh, the, the before thanks, just before Thanksgiving. The day before because there's a lot of people that stay in town. Yeah. That's, that's a week before this, though. No one will ever it's, attend. Yes. That. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't think people will. I don't think people will come. Yeah, people will come. I, think, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, think I would come. I don't think I'm going to come. Okay, he was. I'm going to be riding a turkey. Let's be honest. Yeah. I was just thinking that people are the people that are in town. The kids are out of school. So is that side dish you've got to prepare? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, True. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really. I'm not even being sarcastic. Actually, it's just like it's an awful. It's like it's an. It's an, a week that also has like monster amounts of stress in terms of all the things that have to be done. Yeah. Okay. So I said, I'm, I'm not American, so. <laughs> 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 it's a great. Other friends who are for me, I don't call that so. Just to be clear, it's otherwise a wonderful holiday. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of my but favorites. I, but I don't usually cook, so I hope they cook. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, okay. we'll leave it for that week after. Um, I guess so that's it, the week of the 26th of November. Yes. Okay. And, and so one of my questions is, we should begin, it's not that far away, when you really start thinking about it, if we want to really drum up good publicity for it and make sure we get as good attendance as you can possibly get for one of these events. Um, and I think it's worth thinking about kind of the venue, 
the, the style. I mean, in some ways, it'd be good to we should do part of this with TSKP at the table because they'll want to talk about how they would like to present it. Oh, yeah. um, but we but we can certainly think about venue and mm -hmm. um, and other things around that. My opinion, venue. I think it should be in town, um, in one of the community rooms in town because it's easy access. Because we want this not just to be for river community, it has to be town-wide community. Uh, there could be a second meeting with PGOs involved in maybe for river, but I think the main event, I think we want it in, we, in we could, I could almost argue that, that there should be almost <laughs> like a little road show ahead of this <laughs> where, where people from this committee are actually meeting with the with the PGOs and saying, by the way, we're having this big community event, you know, or, the week after mm -hmm. uh, or Thanksgiving. After, or after, once we have all the materials from the SKP, ask them to show what they show. Well, I, and then, yeah, you could do another round afterward, too. Okay. Um, but I, I think it would be a not a bad idea to, to just, you know, it's time and effort, but. Um, to, to go around and visit the PGOs and get things posted, but I, mean, I don't know, I can imagine a whole different, a whole series of ways to kind of get people engaged in mm -hmm. that yeah. event, but. Yeah, I mean, is there, is there a way to, um, once the, like the presentations have happened or main presentation, is there a way to exhibit the things and, you know, like at town hall or yep. you know, someplace where they're out so people can, just look at them and in the Jones, yeah, or in the Jones or someplace. Mm -hmm. it seems like that mm -hmm. would make sense if we could do that. I and mean, if nothing else, we want to, I think, have an extra copy of, of, of some form of that presentation. Oh, well, yeah. From, not just you know uh, posting digitally, but just having it. Yeah. No. I mean, I think I feel like having it posted someplace, someplace would be yeah. important. Yeah. You know, to so. Um, in my mind, the communities of interest that we've got to try to make sure we reach somehow mm -hmm. are the, the community at large, which also includes, I don't know, parents and other people who are interested who may not be part of the Fort River community, uh, staff and teachers who might be interested in engaging and understanding what's been come up with, and then uh, the Fort River community more directly. And so I just, I wonder I think it's. I think I don't think we should make a decision on it now. I think it's worth talking and thinking about what are the best ways of reaching those three audiences and getting feedback from them, which could include if we have a day where they come in and they're doing a presentation in the evening. Maybe we do something in the morning as well, or see if there's something we can do with staff. I'm just just, just my two cents on this. Cause I think we want to make sure that we make that we we go essentially where the bodies are. And yeah. certainly when it comes to like staff and teachers and stuff like that, my assumption is we're going to have to go at some point proximate to the school day to try to engage that population. Like maybe before the start of the school day yeah. or something like that. Yeah, or whatever, whatever makes sense from a scheduling position. I mean, if Diane were here, she, we could, could, Diane, yeah. she yeah. could tell us immediately when it would be the right time. Yeah. So that's an action item to ask her or what would be a good time and way yeah. to engage the staff and teachers. Mm -hmm. Is there a way, because I was thinking the Gazette reaches a certain part of the population that um, is not involved in some, not necessarily involved in the schools. Either we can have, try to get a letter to the editor published a week before the meeting, or if they're not, they cannot assure that something gets published even, yeah. put a small ad. And, and I, I think we should try both approaches. You know, you, you try the letter to the editor, but you just you take out an ad, and we should have enough money in our budget to do an yeah, ad or two. I, I would suggest that you know maybe some of us could go meet with the yeah. head, the chief editor and okay. say, could you please write an article? You know, and so you know we're not relying on letter to the editor. We don't have to buy an ad. Could you do this mm -hmm. as you know public so service and <laughs> like you know help us out here and say there's a meeting. Yeah. I'm shocked if they wouldn't. I mean, it certainly sounds newsworthy enough to yeah. Yeah. go under the Gazette bulletin. This is feeling kind of like a working group. Task. task. Yes, I, I would agree. <laughs> Do we have volunteers? I mean, I, I think we should let others who aren't here tonight also yeah. offer to volunteer for this mm -hmm. task. Because I think it's, it's going to be a multi-pronged, fair bit of effort kind of yeah. task. <laughs> 
Um, but yes, I, I, th I think we should have a working group. Maybe in the next, with, before the next two weeks you yeah. know, pass, um, do we want to check into some availability for some venues? And I think it's, them? if I can remember to do it, or someone can remember to do it, just check with the town tomorrow about the town room because that's the best spot and see if there are any logical open slots left and in the but calendar. But it's going to be closed. Will it be closed for that time period? Uh, no, oh, when God. was it that they're doing the refurbishing? Well, I'm, I, I don't think we actually have dates right now. Okay. It's going to be it's going to be October, November, but I don't think we have specific dates. And it is going to become a council chamber. It's going to, it's not going to be the town room anymore. It's going to have a semi-permanent so, bench of council people. And things. So it won't really be a, it won't be a multi-purpose space anymore, huh? Uh, I mean, it, I mean, it'll still be open to use yeah. as for meetings, but it's not yeah. going to be a big open floor anymore. Okay. So they're doing built-ins. Uh, it's going to be. I'm, I'm told semi-permanent is what they were going for last time, like fixed, but theoretically. That sounds kind of permanent. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's old school. Yes, well, everything, yeah. everything's semi-permanent yeah. in the construction. Right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, the slip hit, which is slip hammer, is semi-permanent. I can look at what's current. I, I will find out what's current. Yeah, I mean, it, but if it's, if they're if they really are planning to start in October, yeah, yeah. It, it sounds like a di a different venue as at least a backup, but more likely as the actual venue is what we need to mm -hmm. think Woodbury. about. Yeah, yeah. Woodbury, Woodbury room. room. Okay. Woodbury room. That's the one downstairs. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a that's a decent space. What about one of the auditoriums in the schools? We we're trying to get something centrally located yeah. easier for people to get to. Mm -hmm. But public transport. Although the high school's not too bad, all things considered. Although does it have decent? I don't know. If it's it, depends on that, it depends on what time of the day. And yeah. Oh. And their auditorium is. Yeah. And you can do it in the library. You can do it in the library. Which has the which has the library. video. Yeah, yeah. and it has decent PowerPoint yeah. capabilities and everything. Or microphones. Mm -hmm. Usually during the Amherst media. There. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's not a bad spot. Is there a day of the week we should? Uh, it's one of those things where we, no matter what day we pick, yeah, we're going to conflict with something. But we, yeah, the sooner the, 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 the sooner we pick, the, the yeah. sooner you have the more chances that we were first. Yeah. Right, <laughs> that's true. Um, well, Maria, didn't you do some work and didn't Wednesday come up as the best day? Is for us. For, for well, us, For yeah. us, but also, isn't it like when there's not school committee and not there, other... And not well, there are Tuesdays. Yeah. yeah but other than that, that was the only, like, okay. that was the only meeting thing. Else. Okay. That is, all right. Uh, yeah. All right. Wednesdays are pretty good. Wednesdays I mean, right. I, th I would think a mid a midweek is probably going to be good. A weekend is not, you're going to lose, we're just not going to get people. Oh, gosh. Right. No. And then um, Monday's people... Yeah. Yeah. No. Nobody wants to go. I'd say Wednesday or Thursday of that week. Yeah. yeah. I also, as far as venue, would like to know how T T S K P wants to present. If it's shut, yeah. if there's breakouts, I mean, that really informs mm -hmm. the kind of mm -hmm. space that we can. Mm -hmm. The Woodbury room, room can do a little bit of that, depending on how big the crowd is. Right. Um, but you're right. I think we need to check in with them and maybe do a little tour of a couple of spaces and see which one makes. Best sense. Mm -hmm. Because if they want to make really breakouts, it then it must be like a dream or something larger. Yeah. Yeah. I know for the last school project, the the team came and did presentations at the other schools, and it it worked out in the cafeterias because they could do that kind of breakout space in, in the mm -hmm. cafeterias. And there, there is kind of an advantage to that, having that option for the breakout kind of experience. It gets people more engaged, I think. Mm -hmm. well, you have the cafeteria next to the, the library. Library at the high, high school. school. Yeah. You could do that. Okay. But it's probably is probably worth checking with them before we nail down a space. Right, because mm -hmm. they, they may actually have some program going on that week. I can't, <laughs> for, can't imagine. But. If we had to go to the next week, would that be okay? It's, the, it's during Hanukkah. Uh, I think we should try to shoot for that the 28th. That, that 28th okay. week, um, because as Eric said, it, it's a slippery slope. It's, <laughs> I'll, I'll be, I'll, it'll be January yeah. before the 28th is the Wednesday, right? 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's my birthday. Just to let you know. Oh. I mean. <laughs> well, that makes it the perfect day. Yeah, but you know, it's funny. Last year, I think the last two years, I've had meetings on my birthday, and I'm like, really? <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're announcing your birthday to the whole community. Uh, they have to cards. figure out which Wednesday we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All depends on what they want to do. It's hate mail, don't bother. It's presents. <laughs> there you go. Well, I, does anyone want to volunteer tonight to, to be on this working group? I'm taking names. <laughs> well, isn't there already... Isn't there a communication or a yes, community there engagement? Is. Yeah. yeah, but this needs more people. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm almost that's thinking that's it, it might yeah, be worth I can do that. breaking more the tasks yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, because there really is a piece that's very closely aligned with the already existing working group on, on kind of communication. And there's another that's really practical about sussing out locations and finding but, out. I guess, I mean, we are, when are we meeting with the consultants again? Two weeks from today. Why don't we put it on the agenda then as an item okay. and then discuss yeah. it with them, go through it, and then Tasks, define, you know, yeah. then create the set of but tasks. Then. I, is it, that, that'll be the item on the agenda is mm -hmm. creation of working group. Yeah. Yeah. Can, create, I, can I suggest that yeah. we already yeah. suggest that it's going to be on the 28th, what's it, 28th, and send it out to the other members of. Yes, we can, I can, we can send it out. And to the SKP to see whether they can make it on the 28th. So we can start advertising in some way. It's going to be November 28th to be determined location. But at least we have. Not to throw a wrench into it, but just according to their um, schedule, the community engagement is actually they, they have a list like the 20 November 29th through the December 26th. So it, uh, uh, I hope that they can they that will yeah. be far enough along to. But that also okay. means that also means we might want to be open to the following Wednesday as well, right? Yes. Based on what they're. But it's kind of gone. Mm -hmm. But I also think that it's more of like a collection period for feedback, mm -hmm. so that yeah. it's not like they get all of their feedback at one point. That but is yeah. true. From you their know, perspective, it's not a. This is not a, a unitary thing. Right. You know. But it could be a series of events or meetings. It could be a series of events, or survey. once the information is posted on the website, there's more opportunity for people to review it on their own right, time right. and send in comments. Okay. So that that, you know, that whole month long period it is really more like collecting information. So okay. it's better if we have the big event as soon as possible and then we have a day of yeah. people need to know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so that will that will be a, a important discussion next time. Important part of our discussion next time. Can I just add yeah. something else to, to more public outreach. There are other committees in town that are doing work, as we know that really it, it's very tied into what we're doing. Um, uh, so that's the Regionalization um, Planning Board <coughs> for, the, for Amherst and Pelham. That's the um, Dual Language Immersion, which I, I know that the school committee is planning on you know, doing some outreach on. Um, I'm missing one. Oh, the, um, the, the middle school, high school, sixth grade. I mean, there's a lot of things. I don't know. Oh, there's um, nothing's happening is, on that right now at all, but it's obviously right. a topic that's in the air. Yeah, and, and I think that we know about it because it's affecting us, but I, I worry that the community at large isn't aware of all these different pieces of the puzzle mm -hmm. that are going on. And I, I don't, I'm, I'm wondering if the school committee or the superintendent is planning on maybe having a um, earlier rather than later a, by the way, these are the five balls that are up in the air right now, mm -hmm. um, kind of to talk about all of them. Because I know, each, like I said, each of these groups is planning outreach, but yeah. they're interrelated to a large Yeah, no, I think that's advisable. Have one day of one per committee to present. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, I also, I mean, I think the point is partially to have a conversation or a presentation or a discussion about all of them, simul, you know, you know holistically. holistically, right? Exactly, yeah, right. because I mean, that's that's part of the part of the point is how they impact one another. Yeah. Um, but the trouble with them is they're all on different timescales. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but I, I think that's probably important for people to understand too. And, and I don't know, I don't know if a public forum is the best way to do this because it's you know who's going to be able to show up to the forum. Maybe this is a letter that should go out to the community or a, you know, sort of an a update, column. An update, or, an update or a column, I think, by, a discussion by the of the school committee meeting. Yeah. I, think, I mean, I think all three of those things should probably happen. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, 
you know, there's going to almost have to be a preamble at the beginning of the event we're going to have that kind of touches on. We're not going to get into them because we won't know about them, but you know, they they kind of they affect our work in different ways potentially. Yeah, although it is it's likely that by the time we get to the end of November, we will know about the, at least the kickoff to the dual language. That's true. Yeah. School. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm thinking. Like sooner rather than later to kind of have the. Yeah, overview. No, I, but while, I agree. while you were having your summer, <laughs> this is what's been going on. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, it, going it, on. but also I think it's important to build know they can engage because it's um, there. There isn't. I mean, people may actually at some point wish there were sort of like some sort of hidden master plan that you know relates all these things where the decisions are tied together and we know where we're going. The sad truth is they really are on different tracks. We really are gathering information on these different tracks, and we genuinely don't know what's going to happen. Right. That either is comforting or not comforting. <laughs> yes. Take your pick. <laughs> but it, but it's a reasonable to engage for yes. us to talk about it, yes. and it's reasonable for the public to engage because it means they can have an influence over these things. Great. So that we've talked a little bit about the, the sort of first community engagement. Then we've got a second one um, after the options have been refined, and this one's. In January, once we're clear of holiday schedule, um, which also gives TSKP time to actually do the refinement and meet with us and, mm -hmm. and, and you know make that product uh, better slash different. Um, and the question, one of the, my questions is: Is this a different style event, um, or is it really kind of a repeat of of the first event? Um, is it? Are we looking for the same um, kind of feedback from folks, um, or are we looking more to say this is this is where we got? Um, I don't know. I think I looked that there's less time associated, so mm -hmm. I'm thinking they are thinking that it's different. I think at this point they are so far advanced that somebody start everybody starts saying, "Oh, we want actually twelve oh, classrooms, okay. right?" Yeah. I think at we that point that. we cannot go back and start from scratch. So I think what they want is a refinement on what is there, but I think it's the fine tuning. I would yeah. say it. one is the course tuning and the other one is the fine tuning process of the process. That's the mm -hmm. Again, that's something for TSKP to kind of comment on and it's how to how to organize those events. Yeah, I'll be really curious to hear what they've done in other communities with their community. Because I'm sure they've had to do this. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is so, bread, the part of their bread and butter yeah, activity. Yeah. If they kind of why we chose them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other? So I guess when we're talking, I'm talking to them about, if we're talking about next meeting, yeah. we should make it clear we wanted to go over both, both their, sort of their overall approach and then both meetings. And you give them a heads up before they come so they have some ideas so that they, we don't ask them, oh, by the way, can you tell us about We want you to do this on the fly, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so if you, we can give them a heads yeah. up that we would like to talk about this in the next mm -hmm. meeting. We said before we were officially online, uh, Jim is not attending tonight, so I don't have a formal update on the status of survey and, and geotech solicitations, and I, I assume that you haven't heard any more through the grapevine either, so that one we'll have to just wait, what do you think? Um, is, there, is there any way to know, um, we don't know timing, but you know, is this going to stall out? Well, let's yes, look at their calendar. I, I don't think so. Um, I mean, at some point, they're going to need the survey information to confirm that where they might suggest an addition or a new building can actually accommodate. I mean, the, sur the survey has yeah. happened. I don't, I don't know. We're just where waiting are. for the, the data. It, 
you know, yeah, might be I, sitting in Jim's inbox for, for all we know. But. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know where they are on that point, but I know the, they have been there. They have to have okay. been out there. Um, similarly for the borings, although, you know, we're, we're going to explore the, the, the preliminary options with them over the next couple of meetings. Um, and my, my gut says that, that a little bit of delay is not going to, is not going to put a wrench in the works. Um, but it, it would be good to get those going as quick as we can. Yeah. You can do the, you can do it in the dead of winter, but it's, it's good yeah. to get them going as early as we can. I just want, I mean, what, how long do they take? Like once you, you know, so send out the contracts and you get somebody. I, I've forgotten exactly how many of the, that we had said we were going to do, but it's, it's, the actual infield time is, is not more than probably a day, mm -hmm. day and a half tops. Um, and then it's just a matter of, of the engineer who's in charge of doing it writing the report, which, you know, again, it's probably no more than a day's task, but it'll probably take a week. So as soon as it, we, we secure someone to do it, it should proceed quickly. Because according to their, um, their schedule, they should they have four weeks from now for the preliminary options. Right. Um, so most and likely, we, we would like to have that before the end of that time period. Yeah, but not much before. Right. I also have a question uh, regarding the schedule. So existing condition evaluation was meant to be complete by the end of August. And yes. It's the middle of September, and we don't have the report yet. Yes. So, are we looking at at least a two-week slip on their own schedule? I think so. I, that's what it appears. Mm -hmm. I, I have. I personally haven't pressed them yet on that. Um, but we. I think we need it fairly soon. I. I think we really should have it by this next meeting because if we're going to talk about um, options, we should know what their consultants think of the building, and if there's some impediments that they have noted, mm -hmm. um, they need that information and we would like to know that information. Mm -hmm. um, so that's another item I, I, I will poke them on that topic. And again, if they can get, uh, would we like to have the reports before the meeting? If so they're we available, so we yeah. Look so at we can read it because it's, it's likely to be a multi-page thing that's going to yeah. take a little time to digest. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Just looking at the schedule, we had already also talked about road trips to go look at. Um, to the, one of the things that came up was looking at a, a, a smaller library to see, okay, you know, is that scary or is it actually does it actually work? And um, there was there's also within driving distance, albeit a couple hours, there is a school that TSKP didn't do, but it was a conversion of an open classroom design. And I'm wondering, while they're busy sketching, is that something that committee members, you know, do we want to do that so we can lay eyes on some different things so when they come to us with different drawings, we have some thoughts about that? Is that... Do folks have interest in that? Is that, of, is that yeah. of interest? And is it... If it's schools that they haven't done, and I don't, I don't object to going to see schools they haven't done. Yeah. We, we were, we were ourselves going to have to do a little legwork to yes. find those yeah. administrators and figure out how to, how it went to visit. Right. Um, they were going to look at. They were supposed to get back to us with the library. Uh, that piece, once. yes. Yeah. Right. We've done a number of them. And it might the also libraries. be a good idea to look at um, yeah. uh, those those three hundred and fifty square foot yeah. rooms yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, Red, you know, it's 700. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, if there's interest, I'm, I'm willing to do some legwork to, mm -hmm. to do that. I wonder, I wonder um, if, like, through the high performance school program, there aren't some award winning schools that we should choose to look at instead yeah. of, you know, nearby schools. And why, you know, why were those chosen as good, you know, exemplary spaces of learning? I know the. Want to work with me? <laughs> I know the MSBA also has 
The model schools? Model schools. I know, it's yeah. just a I little circular, right? Yeah. Like, here's our program, <laughs> and here are our best schools, yeah. and here's how you should do it. Like, I'm not, yeah. 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 I'm not entirely sure. It, I guess it, it, it never hurts to at least find out a little bit more right. about what made them Absolutely. Best that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that <laughs> we can think, choose to decide what we agree with them. <laughs> but. Yeah. yeah, I think I look at some of those. I think some it was related to the design uh, that they liked and also cost related to size. Um, so it was. And so I think present. many of those had a blueprint that it could be adapted to many um, terrains Non-site specific. Yes. yes. So, so, so they say, which sort of perspective is very dubious. Yeah. So that if you have a, it's not that you need like that huge. Yeah. yeah. Play-doh okay. play kit for schools. Yeah. Yes. Schools, you just yeah. chunk out the school and. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. I think it would be good to to have a look at that type of work and understand why. Maybe we can, okay. yeah. maybe we can come back. Maybe even just yeah. like compile some links. To share with the, you know, yeah, the, you yeah. Know, just look at photographs on the website right. and understand, have an understanding of the spatial reasoning behind them, and then we can decide if there's any that we really need to see in person. Yeah, yeah. didn't TSKP say last week that they were going to bring us some plans of schools that they had? They, they are, and, and I, I expect they'll do that yeah. next for the next meeting. They did have, as Hermia said, uh, some at yesterday's meeting that yeah. they shared with teachers. Yeah. Uh, but they were just little pieces. They were the, all the, the, yeah. the rooms are the main difference between a, a special bed class and a reading class was one had a sink, the other one didn't have a sink. Hmm. It was the same size, one had a counter with a sink, that was a, as far as I could see, and the other one didn't have a sink. So it sink. wasn't like they had split up spaces, I mean, because like I'm... For yeah. use. They had, they had labeled it different for that school, and one had a sink, extra sink, and the other one didn't. I think what Allison's talking about is the, the, conversion, the conversion of the, of the open classroom. I think I you're know. talking yeah. about I know, the conversion they didn't bring us the size, conversion. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, the, the conversion, conversion of the open yeah. classroom they didn't show, so they have a one school. They yeah. did yeah. one. They did one, one we, but... That's another thing we have to poke them to get. Yeah. But they didn't yeah. bring yeah. the so that one. Yeah. I think there was an issue of visiting that one, but I think if they can produce the blueprints. Uh, yeah, at least it gives us a starting mm -hmm. point. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to see it and then see, like, like someone said, if there's a there there that we'd want to go examine it further. Because yeah. it's a big time commitment to like, go on it those is. trips. <laughs> yeah, you know, we don't want to go see a, a, let's be honest, a whole home uh, yeah. uh, space that's not going to tell us or inform us. Yeah, right. So. Yeah, we yeah, want to be sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Good. That. Um, Committee members. We have nothing new to report there. <laughs> so they've gotten the letter. Uh, I have to admit, I have I have been absorbed in doing the minutes and it hasn't gone out. So it's my fault. It's, it's okay. ready to go, but I, I need a quiet moment to actually like, get to them. <laughs> um, which is why we need a meeting minute taker so I, I can free myself up for mm -hmm. yeah. some thought processes. Um, invoices, we don't have anything to review, and so I think we're basically at the end of our, our formal agenda for tonight, unless there's any thoughts or questions. Okay. Great. I motion. a motion? To adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye.